Uh, what? We actually swapped the matchup. That's crazy. We just played a game. I was Armenians. He was Dravidians. Random sip. I won with Armenians. We queue up again. We flipped the matchup. Also on random sip. That's crazy odds. Well, that's fun. Let's see if I can win with Dravidians here. That's so crazy. But you understand the implications here as well. Like if I win with the Dravidians, then it was not the sieve. But then again, if I lose the Dravidians, then my win last time means nothing. It was only sieve. This is the chance to prove that it's a player diff. And he's trying to prove that it's a sieve diff. Let's see what happens. This is fun. This is fun. I, I really enjoyed that actually. Let's see. I don't think this has ever happened to me as well. At least not in recent memory. Alright, let's see it. Um, we got Dravidians here, which is it's definitely the weaker sieve. Now the excuses start coming out. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but it, it's definitely the weaker sieve. Uh, but I, I think it has some plays. It has some plays. It has some things over Armenians, like Bombard Cannons, for example. A bit more of an early game power spike. So let's see. I think my map is be best suited for Menath Arm actually. Which is usually not the strat I'm very comfortable going for, but in this case, I think it's a very nice map for it. So I'm gonna commit to that and see what I can do. Going for the Menath Arms. Alright, maybe I'll pick up a quick dealer. I like to use those sheep to scout a little bit more. Why am I armed with this map? Teach us? Well, basically I have really nice back gold, back wood. So if I go meta arm, I won't have to like defend any forward part of my map. So like the archer retaliation from him won't be as strong after my meta arm rush dies. That's basically the idea behind it. If I had like a forward wood line and like that was my only wood line, I go meta arms and I could lose pressure and then I have to defend a forward wood line and it would be really hard. Do I feel rusty after the holiday? Yeah, 100%. Like, I lost to Lewis earlier, so... Just to show you how rusty I am. I still don't feel 100%. Around 90%. There's a lot of factors, though, to consider. Okay, I need this deer to not mess up. Please, one more. Don't mess up, don't mess up. Excellent, very efficient. Why no scout for better eco with such a safe map? Uh, simply because my scouts don't scale very well. So if we play scout and scout and we both wall, then he he's winning. He's got bloodlines. And just a better cavalry tech tree in general. Which is why I can't go for that right now. If I was a civ like, I don't know, slabs, I would almost always go scouts here. Super safe, really good map. But with Dravidians, with such a weak stable, I think it's more beneficial to... Uh, so this guy's the wrong side of what we're trying to do here. I think it's more beneficial to try him in an arm rush. Hopefully I can find him now. The risk with during gear is sometimes you might not find your opponent. Let's see. Gonna wait for the third one. I'm 
Give back the sheep. He now sees me. Not doing anything about it. He wants to fight me. Oh, these got a lot of bills there. This is very messy for him. I think he should have just walled it or something. This can't be right. No, 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 no. Horrible. This is so bad. I really closed down my momentum. That's where it hurts the most. Should have had like I should have like an extra archer here. Now I'm just like floating the res instead, which is not the the most useful thing in Age of Empires. Mr. Winner of Winners, Happy Win Streak. I have a question. I have been practicing Mians and your build order for Eagle and Archer. I can get perfect uptime with it at 6.45 but I'm having a hard time playing food and choosing when to go a lot of Eagles. And what should I do going to Castle Age? I feel like I keep getting ruined by CA and Scouts into Knights. Thank kind Winner Man. King in the castle. He did well there. Okay, I got the spear. It's kind of what I wanted anyway. Not that the spear matters a lot, but <laughs> it was like a win for me, you know? Pretty even game so far. Uh, I like how we played. I think we played really well. Um, but so did he. So did he. So I don't think we have a crazy advantage. We like kill the vill, but he's got a couple extra archers. Probably what I need is a second range. I think we got so much idle time though out of him. Oh, that's bad. Okay. 
Four for two. And now there's women arms. That's quite bad. No other way to put it. Quite bad. So notice he was going here. I think he's gonna go all the way around. And he's gonna appear here. If I had to guess what he's gonna do. So we're gonna try and do ourselves. Let's try to get it one step ahead and try to match that. So he's gonna go all the way around. So he should appear either here or here. But I think he'll go all the way around. Shut up here, here. They have the same number that he has, but if we're looking and he's not, we win. There's a small chance he appears here, though, so I'm gonna do one house here. Perfect. That was so good. That was so good. It looks like I got lucky, but you guys obviously saw the commentary. That was so good. I'm so happy we got that on stream. I feel like a lot of people can learn from that kind of army tracking. That was sick. I know it's not GG just because of that though. It's it, we we lost army earlier, so if anything, it's just now being even. Class was made a little bit cheaper, so I'm now saving. 25 gold, we'll take it. We're so back. We're so back. What do I do? Town center is probably the easiest. Welcome back, WPS Red Bull. Siege Workshop is also good, though. Oh, cheap path so poorly. Wow, he's not happy about it. I would be very upset about that pathing. Wait, I think he's got some archers here. He should have a couple more archers in the field. And that DC is extremely exposed, so I'm gonna defend it. Sure he's gonna go for them. Killed a lot of farms, that's gonna hurt. I feel like I got so much value. Guess he had nothing. Um 30 C or Siege Workshop. Because I'm open, I'm tempted to do 30 C. And this is the perfect position. This will defend me 100% on this side. And that's better than walls. I don't know if I want to make more archers or not. What is he doing? I'm not sure what he's going to go for. I see a stable. Workshop. Looks like he's going to play defensive for the most part, only. Thank you! Welcome back, Hero. Congrats on dominating Nat 4. <laughs> Thank you! Oh, that's brutal. Thank you, Llama Drama, for the five. I appreciate it. I 
still remember my NDC4 victory. And you guys are making sure I don't forget it. Yo, dude, I need a market yesterday. I promise markets will take over. Luckily I went for, for my TCs. I think that was a good choice. I think he's got ballistics. Yeah, after this now market for sure. I feel like getting housed is horrible here. Shoot! Oh my god, you donkey! What was that? How many, how many, Viper, how many workshops have you made? Viper, how many workshops do you have? Making use of the new stuff. Can't say he isn't. So am I, though. Those guys resist, resist conversions, I'll have you know. They're not resisting the scorpions at all, though. Elephants would do better than they are doing. Someone have a birthday? But someone is me.
I'm just gonna preemptively cancel this then. This castle will go up eventually. Nice, this is good. I'm gonna let him commit though. Or not. He didn't see that castle. Oh, that's the satisfying scorpion shot, though. Um. Oh, and he's slung me a relic. That's his first church. That's a relic. He slung me a relic. Let's go. Respect. That's huge, actually. The hell? The new Armenian bonus? Give your opponent a relic? Oh, what? <laughs> Hold on. Wait, let's fix that. This is some crazy Teach Workshop gameplay. Okay, the only question I have, though, is why did he wait until every Civ got it before doing this? Why not just do it with Romans? Pretty sure when the Roman bonus came out, he didn't try, he didn't even try this, did he? Uh, not against me, but then again, we don't play too often. That being said, first impressions on this kind of stuff is that it's not bad. The Ballistic Scorpions are actually quite scary. Because now they can actually, like, somewhat chase archers down a little bit. Market this is juicy. Wow. Up to him. What do you have though? Yeah, Khmer Scorpions are gonna be insane. I think Khmer just became insane with that. Even before the unique attack, just with that one extra range in castle should be really good. Good red. Not even a bad trade. I'm gonna start with just skirms, I think. The fast template from him was fantastic, though. That was probably the only thing he could have done to keep himself in the game. Give himself some hope here. So nice. will matter. I think it's just about whether I can stabilize. I have so much res. Holy, so much res. I think I'm, I'm gonna unironically go Wootsie Lake half. 
The only way I can even spend this. I don't really need that. Camps would be better, but I only have food. It's on heavy scorpion. This is not very good. I think this is the worst driven cop. <laughs> this is the worst driven cop I've ever been on, I think. Kind of dive in deep with those guys. I'm not too invested into them anyway. Cavalier. That's pretty damn good. this back fast. Falling apart. For no reason, this won't. He 
Is this the patch that leads to Hera's demise? My magic eight ball says not likely. No, this patch is good for me. Really good for me. Look where the bomber cannon went. <laughs> I can't walk straight. This can't be normal. Good shot though. You clown! You're, you're, you're literally a monkey. It's, there's no other way to describe you. I can't believe it. Wow. What even is that, bro? They're still doing okay though. I think I should switch to something else. Champs. I can't gonna be good. You know what? I just wanna kill his town centers. He's out of stone he's repairing, so if I just kill his town centers. Then we think of what I wanna do afterwards. Probably scrim champ myself, so start taking champ. No, he, he's dead, he's dead, and he lost too much. Relic count? Maybe that's the one way I lose. I have three. Three, three. Now we're chilling. I don't need a medical corpse. I'm sneak attacking with my cannons. Actually, what I want to do is snipe the TC. Again, the TCs are huge because. Remaking those is a nightmare for him. I want to trade off everything, it's fine. I'm tech switching anyways. He knows how valuable that is. I think I'll get it though. 
Especially with this hill. Huge. Okay, just go for the no. Okay, so now champion is finished. I'm gonna go for heavy scorp myself, actually. I don't think he has a good counter to that. But I think I think champion is just better. We're giving him a breath now, but it's fake. It's just that why I set up my champion skirm comp. Nice, I yeah, got him. Woo. GG. That was a great game. That was a great game. Another good game. Yeah, this is what I like to do. I like to snipe the TCs, so now it's everything's exposed. And it's not that easy to remake TCs when you're on the back foot. I always get I always get hit by that. Um Whenever you run, run out of like TCs, no stone, it's just hard to make them. The 100 stone is really hard to make, uh, really hard to afford rather. And then also just making them in the right spots is also quite difficult. So now he's just on no TCs and everything's so rateable. GG, really fun game. I like the approach he went for. It actually seems strong. I think Khmer would be insane with this kind of approach. That's my uh, conclusion from a game like this. The Ballistic Scorpions are... An you know, not a joke. Khmer. What else gets a really good Scorpion bonus? Just still Romans, but they're nothing special because they had it from before. Yeah. Um, maybe just any kind of cavalry sieve. Like Berbers that go Knights plus Ballistic Scorpions can be really good to counter Pikes as well. So yeah, Slavs. Yeah, Slavs comes to mind. Celts. Really insane. So yeah, keep an eye on that. But uh, really good. Really good games there. GG's.